Welcome back. <clears throat> we just entered the Blighted Village to begin with. So, fill out these entry-level goblins here. What we have here is... Just a uh, village that we're going to explore. We get the three trolls here. Which we could probably kill if we were on the ceiling. But we're going to go up here and explore a little bit. In the meantime. And try not to get spotted. Goblins are close. I'd know that stench anywhere. But there's none in here. I mean, outside, yeah, here. So, would it be better if I... Not gonna go that way, because we're gonna start an encounter immediately. There has to be a way on top. If I jump, possibly. That might work. What happens if I go in here? Death interrupted, not enough space. If I climbed on here. Can I? Look, we're doing it the old fashioned way. Fighting some goblinos. What I do is I actually go up to here first. How do I even get on the roof here? I'm gonna send my main MC to scatter it out and see if it's possible. Well, whatever, it's only one. We'll just... Just double lightning. That... is impressive. 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 Uh, this is impressive all around. Impressive. That was a lot of missing, more than I would have hoped. So... I can get on this roof without being seen. That'd be preferable. If I can get here. And then I can start the encounter with these three guys. How am I close to leveling up? 774. No, I need 1,026. Well, I'm maxed out on spells required. 
Does he not need... If he doesn't need any regeneration, I can literally just go Warlock next playthrough. Interesting. We'll see. We're gonna fog cloud this. And then we're gonna Oh. That was the uh Yeah, I, I didn't see that one uh happen anytime soon. Yeah, oops. Uh huh. Interesting. That makes sense. You can collapse the roof. But I don't think you can collapse this. Stealth in the cloud. Uh, what do I want to do here? He's. I slow him down. I'll chug a health pot. And I'm out the door here. Lovely. You know what? I'm just gonna load and we're gonna redo this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a great start. I should have seen that coming. There's nothing here. Just him, that's fine. We'll throw like a great club. Why not? He's gonna burn. Next turn, anyways. So, yeah. Easy peasy. <gasps> Hold on. So, if I this. These support beams, right? So the platform in here, I don't think you can destroy. You can destroy all these platforms. So 
so. Who has the barrels? He has the oil barrels. But do I really want... I might want to save the oil barrels for the action, actual goblins up above, so. So we're going to have Shadowheart in here. I'm all at a party. So what we're gonna have, we're gonna have him over here. Wizard dude. Well, it depends. We're gonna have my character. Probably here as well. And then we're gonna have Shadow Heart. Can I, can I attack this? And then we're gonna have Mediv. And then we're gonna start off the combat with my main character. Heading down that. There we go. What we're going to do. We're just going to big boy DPS. We're gonna fog cloud well. There's nothing for him to hit. Yeah, he can throw. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get up here as well. Not bad. We're gonna fog cloud here. Yep. And then probably actually yeah we'll do that big damage oh impressive and i was blinded and acid so not much that's one out. It's not bad. Whatever. I'm not going to attack him because he's got mirror image up. We're just going to focus down this guy. We're just gonna probably deal with DPS. And do I have any food on me? That's the question. I will eat. Probably a garlic? Two health. Whatever, it's still better than no health.
Interesting. He's dead next turn. Uh, unless too high. That's good. And now I'll heal. There we go. This way you shouldn't die. We're gonna heal him up again. We'll do an orange. I will do garlic again. I jumped. I can't. Uh, what we're gonna do is blind again. <clears throat> so one thing is pretty much good for right now. And then twenty-five percent. We'll just do um, flame. That or or not. Just flame them. Because we'll do residual damage anyways. I mean, hey, if you're gonna attack him, it's fine with me. We're like speed running this now. I mean, that's this AI is dumb. All I'm gonna do is continuously help him up and take aggro. I think he's he's out of the spell charges for the acids, so Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep. And if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. That will be covered by the for reasons that cannot be disclosed clause. So let's move on. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. 
Iskcha Chisnaga. This is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. So it is. Our lives depend on it. Now, repeat my instructions back to me, please. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. And next. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. Oh, this is so scuffed. Remember to play them clockwise. And after that... Oh, this is so retarded. It's this one here, I think. Correct. But pay attention to the track part. Is back of the throat, and so we have gone through the necessary steps again. It is gratifying to see your memory does not fail you. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. What? is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. The flute awaits with bated breath. This is so scuffed. That wasn't the right note. You'll have to start anew. That wasn't the right note. That wasn't the right note. That wasn't the right note. That wasn't the right. That wasn't the right. Hey. We start in bottom right. So E E D No D E A D D E A D D E A D D E A D D E E A D AD. Gale's magic flute is ready to the flute awaits with baited. The flute awaits with baited breath. That wasn't the right note. You'll have to start anew.
so scuffed. Let me read it again. Or we start bottom left. E. E A D D. Is that what it is? E A D D. Gale's magic flute is ready to be played. E-A-D-D? -D. The flute awaits with bated breath. That wasn't the right note. You'll have to start anew. That wasn't the right note. Is this bugged? I think it's bugged. Gale's magic flute is ready to be played. Okay, let me screen cap this. Gale's magic flute is ready to be played. Okay, it's a blank page. The blank page. Page is blank except for four letters. One in every corner. In the top left corner is an A. Top right corner is a D. And the top right corner is another D. And the bottom left corner is an E. So we got... We're going clockwise, right? We're starting off on the bottom right. The D. The flute awaits with bated breath. We'll just do counterclockwise. We'll start off with a D. That wasn't the right. That wasn't the. That wasn't the. That wasn't the right note. That wasn't the right note. That wasn't the right. That wasn't the right, right so note. Right. So everything requires a D. But bugged. So we're gonna save. No. Oh, my God. <sighs> Oh, I wanted to save, but I loaded. Oh, whatever. I think it was broken. I think we bugged it out. It like, it wouldn't let me play D. That's fine. We'll quickly just kill the goblin, do this fight again. We know what to do. I got the screenshot here, so. So, we'll quickly go through this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna separate characters again. And have him here. 
We're gonna have Shadow Heart here. Okay, so probably notice a frame freeze there. If not, well, that's good. But uh, I was out for a bit. I had to do some stuff in the middle of it. I had to pause, but that's fine. Uh, so here we are. We moved um, Gale and Shadow Heart to the platform that's not going to be collapsed. I won't collapse it myself. Give me an extra turn. What we're going to do is we're going to have our main MC here, and then we're going to have Will. Let's say, even if I pronounce his name. Beside her as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him. We're going to align the floor here so they so they'll miss this. Oh, that was such a stupid decision. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. But where's the cloud? I don't get it. He's dead. Yeah, I can't do anything. This is so stupid. I shouldn't have hit. It's fine. We're going to shoot another one of these here. Heal him from like from there, and then we're gonna do radiant damage to him. This way, if I can keep him somewhat alive, right? If I can fog cloud this here. And then I can run out. And then we're in good shape, but they're gonna run after me anyways. Fireball. That's fine. So we'll just use her to heal him up again. And then we're going to Uh, I create an illusion. Path is interrupted, that's fine. Do is we're gonna run here. You can probably get here. Yeah, you can fireball me here. That's fine. We're gonna have her jump here. Hmm. 
Just gonna go here. That's a nice critical hit. I can heal him. Take you. Hmm. We'll take the damage to two consistent damage. And then what we're going to do is have him run here. He's probably going to die, but we're going to have him eat a potato. Six HP. That's fine. I'm actually health pot myself. And then hopefully I can kill him here. That's good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him over here. This way, if this guy goes around, we should be able to hit him. If not, we should be in a good, decent angle to hit. For the most part. Really? Really? Where's this guy at? No path. If I move here, I should be able to hit him. I think Shadowheart can make that jump. Fine for me. That's fine. Yes, yes. 
We'll reduce his move speed. Uh, I don't get it. Whatever. Wait, what? I did it on the skelly. Oh my. Or to myself. Okay, there. Perfect. Here for him. I'll probably use the uh, one, no, uh, three, four dice or whatever that one spell. move here yeah we'll do magic missile and then we'll have will move up see if we can use eldritch blast from here not too far we'll grease it up He's gonna throw it at Gale. Or not. Interesting. Okay, I think we avoided. Oh, they're too far. I'm so dumb. They're gonna group. Group. My main character's gonna come down here. Whether she knows how. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna camp. Actually, I got I got some health, so I could probably investigate the bodies first, and then we'll uh, then we'll camp. That's nice. Some actual loot here. In a camp, I'm gonna call it a video. So stay tuned for next next episode.